Good morning, good evening, good afternoon everyone. Today we are going to talk about how to set up the Claude code and how to use it. The very first thing, just go to the website and register yourself. And once you register, there are multiple plans which you can subscribe to use this. So most commonly plans are a free plan which is $0 and there is another one which is Pro which is $20 per month and the Max which is $100. For this demo, uh, I am subscribing to the $20 plans. So once you subscribe it, you will be land on this particular page where you can ask the question to the LLM and uh, start working. So if you want to do the code, just click on this and then there are three options to use it. One is the terminal. Another one is the IDE extension and the web version. So you can use any of them to use it. So uh, let's see how to use the web version. So you can click on the start web version, which will take you to the uh, console and you can connect it with the, uh, to the GitHub and start working on it. So this is called console version. And another one is like a terminal. If you want to use the terminal, uh, you need to install the Cloud CLI into your machine. So let's see how to do it. So let me open the terminal on my machine. So I just open the terminal. So this is the command. You can use the curl and then use this one and which is also listed on the website. If you click on this, you can it will be take you to the uh, command. So this is the command. So I'm going here and typing the same command. So you can see that Claude is just installed on my machine and it is ready to use. And once you are done, just check it out. It is successfully installed or not. The command is uh, Claude hyphen version. And it will tell you the Claude is installed properly and you are able to access the Claude uh, commands. So now uh, the way to use it, like you can create a folder where you want to start your project on the command base. Then what you need to do is just go to the folder where you want to work then cd like i want to go to the document folder i created already one folder for r and d purpose so i just moving into that folder now you are here and after that what exactly you need to do is like just type the Claude to make sure you are ready. So once you write the Claude, now you can see my Claude is launching. Okay. So now the Claude is ready. Uh, so now it's asking me which theme you want to use. So I can select, I want to use the dark theme. I want to use the light mode. I want to use dark mode or different mode. So I will go with the default one dark mode. And then it will be asking me to uh subscription yes i already have the subscription for it so let me click on that then it is asking me to take it there to authorize me and um, uh, i'm saying authorize because i already logged into this browser so it will be authorized so build something great you are all set to cloud use so let me see uh, i'm logging successfully so you can see that i am logged in successfully on this website And after that, like uh, it is asking you me the security nodes. Uh, Claude can be make mistakes. So yes, due to this and click enter. Now it is asking more question. Use Claude code terminal setup. Uh, uh, yes, recommended setting. And now it's adding, uh, ready to code here. I say yes and continue. So now you can see I log in successfully and I'm ready to use. So here I can like uh, start my asking question. Please create one sample of java class let's see how it's work so you can see that it's automatically created a class for you and it's asking you do you want to save this i can say yes then it will be automatically save that class for you and you can use it so and then it's asking you you want to compile it i can say yes make sure you should have the all the setup already like i don't uh, you have the java install and all then you can proceed so 
so you can see the class is created and compiled successfully okay so this is what how the uh, cli will be work and now you can also see how it can be used on the uh, web version so here you can see create on the web version now connect to the github you should have the github you can connect it with the that org So now I just enter the code and let me authorize it. Now connect repository. Select the repository which you want to uh, connect and then authorize installation. So once you connect it, you will be landed here. And after that, you can start working on your Git directory directly. Tell me about my project. So it will be the GDR project, uh, what we have on our repository and we'll show you uh, the detail. So now it's giving you uh, so it's what it is doing it's giving you the framework detail exactly we are doing these uh chapter wise details are there in this project and it's giving what exactly your repository is doing now let's see how to use the uh, cloud into the vs code so let me open the vs code get a project with the manifest standard commit demo now I will be authorized this project commit demo so I just connected this with my DABA So authorization fail let me authorize it try to authorize it again so now my DevOps is just connected I'm trying to retrieve the uh, all the component from my org Now to use this uh, cloud into the VS code, there are two options. One, you can still use the terminal and terminal will be uh, give you all the things what you want. So you can just go to the terminal and under a terminal, just type the cloud and your cloud will be open under the terminal section and once you see that uh, it will be asking you, uh, would you like to authorize this as a safe place then say yes and you can see that cloud will be open so here you can write the command whatever you want to write so let's say create one custom object called employees 
and create five custom fields so it will be start uh, creating a object and will create a custom field so let's see what it's doing so this is the command prompt uh, this is the same which is nothing is the same like the terminal which we are using before you can use this one or if you are not familiar with this you want a ui tool you can also install the cli uh, sorry you can also install the uh, ide extensions i will show you after this so it's creating a uh, direct object and then do you want to proceed i say yes so now you can see it's created a, a xml for me i say yes so now here you can parallelly uh, track what object it is creating so currently you can see this is the object it's created code employee and now it's creating the field also so it's created a five field it's a like uh, first name i say yes i need it then it's a last name then it's asking email then it's asking department then it's a hire date so you can confirm whatever the field you need uh, it's keep creating so you can see that it's created uh, all the five field for me and also also my object metadata and uh, i can also use this object to deploy into the my developer org also so now you can see the fields are created deploy the same in my deploy the same in my developer org so now we can see it's using the Salesforce CLI to uh, deploy the changes into my developer org so now you can see uh, deployment successful now so you can access this object into this one so let's see it is deployed or not So I created an object called employees with the five fields. So let's me verify it. So you can see the object employees is created here with the five custom fields. Now, if you don't, if you are not uh, familiar or you don't like the terminal, then you can also install the plugins or extensions. So go to the extension search for cloud and you can install it so now you can see the cloud is installed the chat panel will be open here and this is the ui so let me open any class here so let me open any one class and let me ask what this class is doing can you please explain what this class is doing so i already provided the context of this class and let me see uh, what the output will become here so it's reading all the details so it is providing this app is class is providing the service for searching the account record and it's providing it's a with sharing or enable method what exactly parameter we are passing what all attribute it returning and what is the method name and how it will work out so everything is here and if i want to create a test class for it let's see how to do it can you please create a test class for this 
so you can see that it created a test class and the ui version is saying accept you can accept it and the test classes will be created into here so now you can see it's creating a metadata file accept it so here parallel you can see it's created a test class for me uh, this is the test class and also created this method for me so it's also asking do you want to run the test class you can run the test class and check it out so this is what the test class i created and it created test data and everything and you can deploy the same test class into the uh, your org as well So it's asking you want to see the deployment data. I say no, but uh, deployment should be done. So that's all about today, and uh, I will be come back with a more session on this how to create that admin and the developer agent. We'll talk about more on this and the best practices. Thank you everyone.